Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we have Song Theory t-shirts we're selling right now in the description below. Today we're actually looking and reacting to a song called 21 by a rapper named Polo G. Now, I have no experience with Polo G. I've never heard of the song, never heard of the artist. I don't know what to expect. So I'm excited because also the uh, Polo G's video is created by Lyrical Lemonade, which is Cole Bennett, a uh, huge director, film filmographer, or I, I guess that's not the name for it. Uh, I guess filmmaker uh, and that's his company so I really love Lyrical Lemonade and I want to see what they did with this video so react with it with me and we'll be watching today Polo G and his song 21 let's get started uh oh, oh we about to tell a story now aren't we decorate your block with red tape for them sliding their day bunch oh. of hollow spinning out the block I've been serving fiends all day out there posted with the gang nigga we was taught to get it off the block oh. it's a hundred bands in the safe now I got it spent Michael Mary James, fill him up with knots. Okay. I've been on okay. my grind every day. Don't believe in taking breaks. I ain't stopping till we chillin' at the top. Swearin' no. All right, so right there, I like that a lot. Uh, first of all, I really like the filter that they use, the yellow. I, I really like that a lot. Um, so far, Polo G is actually pretty good. He's a pretty good rapper. I like the way that he's uh, spitting some of these bars right now. I'm not going too deep into the lyrics, but uh, as of right now, it sounds pretty good. So let's keep going. Don't care if I crash in this coupe Shit, I'm thinking about too real Might lose my mind in this coupe Ooh. Can't relapse off these drugs, man R.I.P. the juice Ooh. Who's taking off them perks? I pop my last one with you My type with my day ones Ain't trying to find no recruits Who's playing give and take On that front line with my truth good. Hey, like who on smoke? We got plenty guns oh, Keep man. pulling savages on S And they gon' get it done and them hollow tips do surgery, they gon' clip his lungs It was going down on the set Okay, I get it now Okay, so I understand what's going on now So basically, Polo G is describing a lot of his relationship with Juice World. Uh, he even said a line in one of his bars that said Basically, the last uh the last Percocet that he popped with was with Juice World, and of course, if all of you uh, know this, uh, Juice World actually died tragically uh, from an overdose of drugs. So this is actually pretty heartwarming and very sad at the same time. How uh, Polo G had to experience that heartbreak and that pain, and really, this song is 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 kind of uh, dabbling between the two things of. Uh, living in the hood and going through some of the issues he went through you know getting out and also dealing with issues now that he's on the other side of success so this is actually really good let's keep listening ever since I stepped up in this game I've been a bomb threat I was in the trenches trying to see a life beyond that cause complacent wow. niggas usually die up in they complex nigga where I'm from they turn death into a contest living wow. by the gun put all my trust into this compact my niggas went to war but they ain't get no Vietnam check uh. number one is here he trying to make his brains ooh so just from the lyrics here ah oh man that's tough like he's just really talking about his life in the hood explaining how a lot of those kids in the hood have to deal with a lot of the issues obviously that come with it death every day knocking at your door shootings and and he was saying that death became a competition and that's sad man i mean just hearing some of the people and rappers that come from the heart areas uh, that were hard hit with poverty, especially in the late 80s, early 90s, and now in the 2000s, still having to deal with gang violence and uh, some of the deaths that happened uh, as a result of that. So he's explaining how he got out of that. He got out of that lifestyle, but now as a rich person who is uh, obviously wealthy and successful, he still has to deal with issues, um, almost like survivor's remorse, which we can get into in a second and explain what survivor's remorse is. but. This is deep, man. This is a, a lot deeper than I thought it'd be. So let's let's keep it going. Any street shit got me singing gang blues. I've been a real nigga for this shit became cool. Uh. I'm the type to switch my watch up every time I change moves. He the type to get excited because he made the shade room. Looks like a jail. It's a hundred bands in the safe. Somehow now they got, got a jail. They were able to do this Mary video James on the jail. I've been on my grind every day. Don't believe in taking breaks. I ain't stopping till we chillin' at the top. Okay, so that's the end of the video. That's Polo G's song 21, directed by Cole Bennett and his company, 
Lyrical Lemonade. So here's the deal. Here's what I've seen so far. Like I said, I believe he's suffering from survivor's remorse, which is a really heavy issue that a lot of people deal with who have survived shootings or or um, hard lives in the hood or, or even war. And he actually did bring up war. He explained how Vietnam veterans get uh, decorated and they get to be celebrated, but people who survive the hood often often aren't, they're ignored. And no one thinks about how tough it is really to grow up in an area where you have to fear for your life as well as anywhere else. And I like the fact that Polo G brought up the idea that people are so excited to get on the shade room and talk about their success. And he's explaining, he's just excited to be able to change his watch color with his mood, right? What that says to me is that he's, he has been through so much and of course with all of that that I mentioned is poverty is probably the number one thing that he dealt with growing up and understanding that people who deal with poverty oftentimes deal with the fact they don't have enough food, enough clothing, sometimes their electricity goes off and maybe even they get evicted. So for him to grow up in that kind of place and then to be successful, to grow into a man that obviously is influencing millions of people just by looking at this video. It really is incredible how he was able to take such a tough situation and become a different person. And I do, uh, of course, also appreciate the fact he talked about Juice World and his relationship with Juice World and making sure that he avoids at all costs trying to do drugs and messing himself up in the long run. Because so often you get out of these neighborhoods and these, these situations and then you fall back into another situation by drug use or by overdose. And it really is a sad, sad, case but this is an excellent song and once again the cinematography let's talk about that for a second how did you how did Cole Bennett get a jail where do you where do you go to get a permit to shoot a music video in a jail like who let you do that is this abandoned what's going on here I really have questions anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video this reaction I hope you enjoyed it please go watch Polo G's entire song uh, 21 I always try to link it below but if I don't you can always just look it up on YouTube Guys, thank you so much for watching this. Thank you for all the subscribers and the views and really just sticking with me. I appreciate it, guys. I'm trying to be as consistent as possible and hopefully I bring you guys more content. We have song theories on the way and I love you all. Make sure you subscribe and once again, we're selling t-shirts in the description below. Uh, guys, I love you. I hope you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later.